everyone, and welcome to another Social Web Cafe interview. Today we have Justin Germino with us. Hi, Justin. Welcome. Glad to be here. Thank you. Well, yeah, I'm just a fan of, of, of technology, games, gadgets, uh, and you know, I, I look at it as artistry, right? So everything that makes somebody's life easier, somebody's life more enjoyable or more entertaining, and you know, all that stuff is just fascinating to me. Now, you've done several reviews, and with the holidays coming up, I'm curious, do you have any recommendations as far as gadgets, um, different price ranges from, from the things that you've reviewed as far as holiday gifts? Well, yeah, I definitely do, and it all depends because I have recommendations for what people are looking for. Obviously, somebody who's looking for a tablet will get a different recommendation. Somebody's looking for a video game console, or somebody who's looking for just an ebook reader but not interested in the tablet features. Uh, I, what I do is I try to price it because I know people have different budgets and things like that. So I try to look for the best gadgets that I think in the price range. One of the categories I do is in the under hundred dollar category, which is more reachable by most. So I broke it out to where top five video games that might be interested, and top five, you know. Uh, other items, technology items, accessories for the computer, things like that. Obviously, you can't really get a tablet under uh, $100 unless you were really lucky and you got the Barnes and Nobles Nook for $99, which was on sale on Black Friday only. You know, but but generally, you're not going to get a tablet for under 100 that's going to be worth anything. I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, some really good items, like if you are, the tablets are really popular right now. Uh, the market realized that the 7-inch tablet is like the ideal size. People want to carry something they could put in their purse or something they could put in a big pocket. The 10-inch tablet is great, an Apple iPad. I have an Apple iPad too. It's fantastic, but the 7-inch tablet's more portable, and people wanted that more portability. So that market really branched out, and Amazon was the first to capitalize on it with the Kindle Fire. But since then, there have been other great products that come out. Obviously, the iPad mini is a great product, but it is priced pretty high in comparison. So the Google Nexus 7 would be my like ideal 7-inch tablet. At $199, it's the same as the Kindle Fire HD. It's got no limits on the uh, operating system. It has a way larger Google Play App Store. The Android App Store on Google is just enormous compared to the Amazon App Store, uh, which is growing, but it still has a very limited selection. But either way, if you want a a lot of apps and a lot of games and a lot of, uh, of functionality. The iPad still has the largest app store of them all. So if you don't want to wait for more content to keep coming in next year and you want all that content now, the iPad's still the, the king of that. I have one of those, but it's pretty pricey. So it's like, okay, where's my iPad? I, I got an airplane one time and I heard someone say, oh, we left our iPad at the restaurant. I was like, okay, wait, I'm getting off the airplane. Where was that restaurant? You know, it's, yeah. it is quite a pricey item to carry around with you, pricier than the, some of the other items out there, but um, handy. I mean, same thing goes with smartphones. I mean, there's people looking for smartphones. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is an amazing phone. Many people call it the iPhone killer. It's like, it, it is an amazing <laughs> phone. The, but the iPhone 5 is no slouch either. Granted, there's a lot of complaints about Apple Maps, and Google's going to be releasing their maps for the for the iPhone soon, uh, which will, you know, be back so people can stop complaining about Apple Maps. But, uh, you know, the iPhone 5, the Samsung Galaxy 3 is a real competitor to the iPhone 5 if you don't want to go the Apple camp and you want to be in the Android camp. Of course, I wouldn't count out the Windows uh, 8 smartphones either from Nokia. Even though the Windows App Store isn't there yet, many positive feedback and reviews. If you're used to the Windows 8, if you've upgraded to it, it has the same tile interface. Um, it's very familiar. It's the most customizable home screen out of any of the phones, uh, you know, whether Android or, or iOS. So there's a lot of positive buzz around that too. Excellent. Wow. You guys, you hear it. Dragon Blogger, he definitely knows his stuff. <laughs> I have to rewind that and, and listen to what you said. That was a lot of content in a little short time period. Now, if people are visiting dragonblogger.com, do they search for the particular gadget that they're looking for? How would they find your top five in this category and in this category if they're looking for their shopping list? Yeah, in this case, just look for this. Do a search for gift. Uh, I will be putting up a link on the top of the page for holiday gift recommendations. I do it for a short term. Right now, I've kind of like I've clogged my site with giveaways. I'm running a 10 days of giveaways on DragonBlogger.com where every day since Black Friday we're giving away a new gadget to a reader and all contests end on December 18th. So they all start each day but they all have the same end date. So I'm going to be shipping out like 11 prizes uh, on December 19th to, to readers. And uh, so right now my homepage is just clogged with giveaway articles because each contest is a new post. So you'll just see like tons of pictures for giveaways because I'm running more than ever before right now. So it might be harder to find the regular content while I'm in this contest mode. Uh, so just do a search for gadgets, gifts, you know, or if you know the gadget, Kindle Fire, Kindle Fire HD, Google Nexus, you know, we have articles on virtually every tech item 
You can pick up video game reviews. You want to know about Assassin's Creed 3, if that's worth getting. You want to know about Black Ops 2 and the latest crazy on that, the Wii U, you know, Skylander Giants. You know, just do a search for what you, what you, what you want to know more about, and chances are you'll find it. Don't you have a contest that's ending in the next couple of days, or is that part of the same um, no, no. set of contests? I started this contest in September. I'm giving away a brand new Lenovo laptop. Z585 laptop to one lucky reader. It's the longest contest I've run. I usually run contests for 30 days. This one I run for 65 days just because I wanted it to get a lot of attention. November 30th, I'm drawing the winner uh, shortly after noon, waiting through one person's going to win, and I'll be shipping them the laptop so they can get it before uh, Christmas if it's a Christmas present. I've had all sorts of Excellent. people out there. And then uh, as per my 10 days of giveaways, I've got, you know, Solid state fl drives for the computer, external battery packs for iPhone, external wide drives, which are basically is like an external hard drive for your tablet. You basically can uh, use it with your iPad or your Android and use it as an external hard drive to hold your TV shows and movies so that you're not filling up all your space on your iPad. Great products. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Justin, a.k.a. Dragon Blogger, joined us today for an interview. Thank you so much for your time. You enjoyed chatting and learning more about you and about your site and what you provide. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much.